It is game week on the Testudo Talk podcast. Maryland football season opener is tomorrow. If you're listening to this on Friday when it comes out this episode, I'm Emmett Siegel. I'm here with Colin McNamara filling in for Andrew today. And we're going to be looking at Maryland football season opener against Towson. Colin, the season starts tomorrow. Where are you right now, you know, in getting ready for the season to start? I know I'm certainly excited to, you know, finally see some Maryland football this year. Yeah, super excited. I mean, it doesn't really feel like the season starts yet because it's, you know, a game against an FCS program. But nonetheless, we're going to see, you know, how the roster shapes out, who's starting, who's not. It's going to be a very exciting day on Saturday. Absolutely. And I think that, like you said, this is a, an FCS opponent that Maryland's playing. There's not even really any odds available for this game because they're huge favorites. You know, this should be a, an easy victory for Maryland. But what we're going to see on the field, there's still we're still going to learn a lot about this team. I think, you know, it's going to be the first game of action we've seen in however many months since it was uh, the spring game back in April. So it's definitely exciting to uh, to see the Terps back out on the field. And I think today we're going to analyze just kind of what we're looking for from a Maryland perspective to see um, against Towson. And like we said, it's not going to be hopefully from a Maryland point of view, it's not going to be a close game, but there will still be plenty to take away from it. Before we do that, Colin, you have a preview out or it will be out this morning. The podcast comes out about Towson and what to expect from the Tigers as they take the field in College Park tomorrow. Would you mind maybe before we get into what to expect from Maryland, maybe tell the listeners that might not be familiar with the Tigers a little bit about what their team looks like this year? All right. So in 2022, the Tigers went six and five, but elected that they uh, wanted to improve that record and went with a uh, new hire head coach with Pete Shinnick who's coming over from Division II football, where he's won, I believe, two Division II national championships, his most recent coming in 2019 with West Florida. Um, they are also, you know, seeing some change at the starting quarterback position um, with now the expected starter supposed to be Scott Smith, who who won, who won the job uh, in the beginning of 2022. He, he started the season opener, but suffered an injury, which kind of limited his playing time. So, as but outside of those two changes, you know, the entire coaching staff is different and, you know, starting quarterback, but they're bringing back a lot of really, really good players, a lot of graduates, seniors, upperclassmen on both sides of the ball. You know, Mike linebackers back. They have a big time uh, defensive lineman coming back, cornerbacks coming back who, um, let me check his name real quick, uh, just so I don't get it wrong. Uh, Robert Javier, uh, he's coming back, graduate defensive back. Um, he had two big sixes actually last year. Uh, one of them was at Delaware, 97 yard uh, return. They have running backs coming back, two of their top receivers coming back. I mean, this is an experienced team, a big FCS program, as Mike Loxley has kind of alluded to. Uh, but, you know, Maryland is Maryland. So there shouldn't be much of an issue despite all this talent coming back for Towson. Yep. I think you kind of hit the nail on the head there. And certainly interesting to hear about how much experience they have coming back. And how many players they have coming back, considering that the message from Loxley and the players was about the turnover on the coaching staff and about how much they respect the new coach there and what he's accomplished in the past. So could be an, an interesting matchup. Maybe early on, it's a little bit closer, but I think we both expect Maryland to, you know, maybe pull away as the game goes on. Let's jump into what we're expecting, or I should say, hoping to see or interested to see from Maryland. Um, I can start since you just, you know, previewed Towson there. Um, I think the number one thing that everybody's got their eye on when it comes to Maryland football this year and what all the questions are about is the offensive line. And I think we still haven't gotten any sort of concrete information on what that offensive line is going to look like. The starters probably will be somewhat of a rotation, you know, the B5 that take the field and we'll probably see eight, nine, 10 guys play on Saturday. But um, I'm certainly interested to see who takes the field to start the game. And it just should provide a little bit of an inside look at, you know, what we're expecting to see. Um, the rest of the season from that rotation. There's been some, some talk about some potential injuries on the line. Um, Gottlieb Baedze has not been out there at practice recently. And um, there's been there's been some movement about, you know, who will be playing where. But uh, that's the number one thing I'm looking at. Um, and I don't know if you concur, but but I think most people that are around the program, uh, the number one thing they're looking to take away early in the game on Saturday is what kind of offensive line Maryland trots out on the field. Absolutely. Yeah, offensive line probably going to be is the biggest question mark coming into this season. And the thing that we'll probably learn the most about in the Towson game, I mean, if they struggle against Towson, that's bad news for the rest of the season. But what I'm personally most excited about is the wide receiving group. I mean, 
Caden Prather, Tyrese Chambers, both highly touted transfers coming into Maryland. Obviously, Maryland lost Jacob Copeland, Dante Demas, uh, Rakeem Jarrett, uh, all to the NFL. But, you know, with these two highly touted transfers coming in, Octavia Smith Jr., Ty Felton, I'm just really excited to see who's going to be starting on the field for Maryland and what kind of the rotation looks like there. Yeah, and I think the offense, you know, just to kind of jump right on the back of what you said, the offense as a whole shouldn't be too different than last year, even though there's a new offensive coordinator. But I am interested to see if there's any new wrinkles that are thrown in there with Josh Gaddis calling plays. I know they mentioned, you know, maybe putting some some running backs out wide, maybe in the slot, um, kind of trying to get the ball in people's hands in new creative ways. I'm interested to see if there's any sort of any sort of change in the game planning, any sort of new wrinkles that we didn't see with Dan Enos that maybe Josh Gaddis will bring to the table. I'm expecting that this game could be a good opportunity to um, on, on one hand could be a good opportunity to maybe try out some new plays that might be a little riskier in a higher leverage game. But then on the other hand, you don't know how much they want to put on tape for the future. So uh, yeah, I'll be interested in the play calling as well. Um, I do want to kind of jump to the other side of the ball with my next point is that I'm interested in seeing what Maryland can do in terms of getting to the quarterback. Because last year, earlier in the season against some weaker opponents, they were able to generate a little bit of pressure. But it felt like their defensive line and, and their linebackers, too, who you know dealt with injuries, but really their defensive front as a whole kind of struggled getting to the quarterback, kind of struggled generating pressure and, and, and commanding the line of scrimmage. That's what I want to see from Maryland against Towson. And I think that if they're not able to do that against Towson, that definitely doesn't bode well at a point of, of needed improvement for the rest of the season. Absolutely, yeah, I absolutely agree with that. Um, they lost all three of their starting interior defensive linemen. I'm kind of expecting Tommy A. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his last name uh, to take a big step uh, this year. Hopefully, rake in you know five, six, seven sacks for the Terps here. Kind of be that sack leader next to uh, Jay Sean Barham. Also, I'm looking at the cornerback room. Um, you know, with Gavin Gibson expected to miss uh, the game against Towson. You know, there's no reason to rush him back from injury. Um, I'm expected to see how that, you know, cornerback rotation kind of fills in behind him. Yeah, there's some injuries that um, we don't necessarily have all the details. And we'll see, like Loxley said in his most recent PES conference, you know, with the uh, with the new Big Ten rule requiring teams to submit availability reports, we'll see who's available. Um, I guess it's two hours before kickoff. But he did mention on Thursday that there were some some injuries that were suffered during fall camp and some guys that. You know, I think his quote was that there were some guys that he hopes that would be out there that or was hoping that would be out there that won't be. So there's definitely been a couple injuries during fall camp. I guess it kind of kept it under wraps. Like you said, Gavin Gibson was one guy that got injured in the scrimmage. So we'll see if he comes out there. Um, so, yeah, injuries are another thing, as always, to see who's healthy and who isn't. Um, but as far as we know, nothing detrimental has happened in terms of injuries at this point in the season. Um, the last point that I want to make in terms of the Towson game and what I'm expecting is I want to see Maryland kind of put their foot on the gas pedal here. Um, like you said, Towson has some returning players. It has a new coach who's, you know, very well respected at what he's done at lower levels of college football. But at the end of the day, Maryland is so much more talented than Towson. And if it wants to achieve the goals that it's set for itself to win eight or nine regular season games, if it wants to get to those goals, it has to put Towson away early. You can't have a game where, Towson is is hanging around and maybe you're getting into the third quarter and you're starting to, you know, have to keep, you know, all your starters out there or, your, you know, the, the thoughts start to seep into your head about, you know, Towson starts to believe they can win this game. If you're Maryland, you need to, you know, put your foot on the gas pedal early and pull away and hopefully wrap that game up by halftime if you want to, you know, bode well and kind of get some new guys into the rotation, which is definitely what you're looking to do in a season opener against an FCS opponent. Yeah, it's also definitely something that I'm looking, you know, forward to seeing is, you know, new schemes for Towson, obviously a new quarterback under center. Uh, Mike Loxley has, you know, admitted he doesn't know what, what Towson, what their offense is going to look like, you know, as is anyone. Um, so I'm, ex I'm excited how early Maryland figures them out. I'm, I'm hoping, you know, it's early and, you know, by, by the end of the first quarter, you know, the game's kind of put away already, you know, two, three score game. Hopefully Towson doesn't hang, you know, in there until halftime and, you know, and Loxley has said during, you know, you know, in the fall media day that, you know, um, you only get one chance to make a first impression. So I think this is Maryland's shot to really kind of show, you know, the, the I guess the nation, the rest of the Big Ten, that they're going to, you know, 
reach these championship aspirations that they've been talking so much about. So that's definitely also something that I'm looking forward to. While, you know, it, it, it isn't that big of a game because Towson is an FCS program, how Maryland wins this game is definitely going to be telling. Absolutely. Um, we can give score predictions if if you'd like. I know that's been a, a tradition on this on this show now for a couple of years to, to give a score prediction. But like you said, I think this game is more about how Maryland wins than if Maryland wins. If Maryland doesn't win, then we'll have, you know, emergency podcast coming to you Sunday with, you know, the sky is falling if Maryland loses to Towson. Um, I think everybody's pretty much in agreement that that Maryland would be heavily favored if there was a spread. Uh, Maryland definitely a big time favorite on Saturday against Towson. Um, let's give some score predictions before we head out. Um, not too long of a podcast because like like we said, this is this is not an opponent that, you know, the game is super highly anticipated other than it's the first game of the season. And, you know, you're, you're hoping that Maryland can can kind of put the game away early. Let's get into some score predictions. Colin, do you have a prediction for Saturday's game, Maryland versus Towson, a final score, maybe a, a standout player you're looking to see? Uh, final score, I'm going to go with 56 to 20 in favor of Maryland. While it's a large margin, it's not the largest that we've seen between, you know, Towson and Maryland. Obviously, last year, I believe, or not last year, last time they played was in 2017. I believe it was a 63 to 17 defeat. So it wouldn't be the largest margin of victory, but I think Towson's going to score a few early, a few late, but Maryland's kind of going to control this one from the get-go. I agree with you. Um, I'm going to go with a with a similar score. I'm going to say uh, 49 to 14. Uh, so we're right around that same that same number of about a you know four to five score win for Maryland. I think they win this one comfortably. I think hopefully by the later points of the game, you can stay healthy. You can get your starters out. You can you can get a look at some younger guys, maybe some guys that you know don't normally get on the field during game time and you know, kind of get an early look at, at what this team might look like, not only this season, but then moving forward with, with some of the younger pieces. Um, but yeah, Colin, thank you for joining. Um, you'll definitely be back on the show, I'm sure, a, a couple times this season. Um, and this has been an episode of the Testudo Talk podcast previewing Maryland football season opener against Towson. We'll have a, a reaction episode following the conclusion of that game, um, kind of analyzing the game and saying what we saw. Um, so yeah, Maryland football season starts tomorrow. And it's an exciting time uh, in, in, in the Maryland sports community. Fall sports are in full swing, and we're going to be coming at you all season long here on the Testudo Talk podcast. Thank you for listening.